just feel calm and zen. Collect myself. Okay. <laughs> hey, this is Megan and Sue in the restricted section. All right, today we are doing the gentlemen's and ladies tag. <laughs> we were tagged by Ben Sanders, so and he is the creator of the tag. Yes. So we will link his video down below. And he's pretty new to book too, but he's he already got some pretty awesome videos. So Truth. you should just go ahead and subscribe while you're over there too. You probably should just hit that <laughs> subscribe button. I think that'd be a good choice. <laughs> this is a pretty short tag, but I think it's pretty good. Yeah. And the um, basis is that all of the questions are actions mm -hmm. that a gentleman or lady would perform. Yes. So action one is open the door. It is what book or series open the door to a new genre for you? Um, for mine, I chose a book called Retro Lives by Lee Grimes. Um, this is a sci-fi book about mm. a man who ages like normal, but then when he hits about I think 60, he starts getting younger again. Oh. And he also loses his memories as he gets younger. Okay. From that age until he gets to be about, I think, 25, and then he starts aging again and just repeats the cycle over, over and over, over, but he gets a little bit older each time. Okay. So he does eventually die, but he lives for hundreds of years. Wow. And it's a really, it was a really cool concept. I looked this book up on Goodreads. And it only has like seven reviews, <laughs> so I guess it's not, not well very known, popular. Yeah. But it's just one that I randomly found at my local library when mm -hmm. I was a teenager and read it. And it's really the first sci-fi novel I ever remember reading, and I was pretty much hooked after okay. that. So There you go. It opened the door. <laughs> yep. I like it. Um, for mine, I chose The Fault in Our Stars by John Green because that kind of... Uh, open the door to YA a little bit. I still don't read a lot of YA, but um, that book kind of showed me that there can be mature YA books, and I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, action two is pull out the chair. And that one is what book has a serious I need to sit down moment? Um, for mine, I chose, I think this is technically a short story, but I chose The Yellow Wallpaper by Charlotte Perkins Gilman because, you know, there's some... Some fucked up so shit. Like, whoa. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, and that's, mm -hmm. uh, I think most people probably have already heard of that one, but it's about a, a woman going insane, essentially. Yeah. yeah. It's a, I really like that story. Yeah, yeah it's, it's pretty good. great. Um, I chose the Game of Thrones series because <laughs> there are a shitload of I need to sit down moments in it, but the first one, I think, is when. Spoiler alert, I feel like everybody already knows this, but when uh, Ned Stark dies, I feel like that kind of set the precedent for the entire rest of the series, mm -hmm. you know, for George R. R. Martin taking everything you love from you. That was kind of the, the opener of it for me, so. Okay, action three is polite conversation. And that is, what book or series can you talk about nonstop? Um, for mine, I chose The House of Mirth by Edith Wharton. I just always bring this book up in conversation as much as I can. <laughs> um, it's about a young girl who, she's lost her fortune, her parents died, and they left her with nothing. Um, but she is supposed to be the heir to her, I think it's her aunt that she's living with. She's supposed to be the heir to her fortune. She doesn't have any children. But she fucks it all up, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> Is the book well shit. like she doesn't she doesn't act like a proper lady <laughs> and she fucks it all up she and ends up, up with nothing <laughs> so. but for this one I will talk about the long way to a small angry planet by Becky Chambers because um, that was actually our first ever booktube video yes. and it it's not not a great video not a great but video we were newbies. but we, were, we didn't know what we were doing booktube babies we still don't know what we're doing. But. We just wing it. It's fine. Um, <laughs> we at least have better lighting now. <laughs> <laughs> you can see us. Yeah. Um, no, I really like that book. It's um, it's about a, a ship that tunnels wormholes through space, and it's about the crew. And I talk about that book a lot. When I asked my... Um, I was having trouble coming up with something, and I asked my boyfriend, like, what, what books do I talk about a lot? And he goes, I don't know, that spaceship one. <laughs> Action 4 is the proper compliment. 
Okay, pick a spin-off series that you see as a proper companion or complement to the original series. Um, I really struggled with this one because mm. I don't read a lot of series. I kind of avoid them. I have commitment issues. <laughs> and I just I can't can't get that invested. Can't get You never know it. how it's gonna end. You don't. You don't know if you wasted <laughs> your time. True. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly dog. Suddenly dog. <laughs> So I chose Babysitter's Little Sister by Anne M. Martin. Um, she wrote the Babysitter's Club books, which I don't know if those are popular these days. I read anymore. the shit out of them when I was yeah, younger. Yeah, I actually read more Babysitter's Little Sister books when I was younger, um, which is the companion series that's right. about one of the characters from Babysitter's Clubs, Little Sister, okay. obviously. Right. But yeah. it's, and it's more geared toward like a little bit younger audience, I think, yeah. than the Babysitter's Club books. But I enjoyed both. I thought, yeah. you know, I, I liked little them series. when I was. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> um, my answer to this action is um, not maybe what it's asking, but <laughs> I had a really hard time with this one. Um, I chose When She Woke by Hilary Jordan, which is a reimagining of The Scarlet Letter, kind of. So it's kind of a spin-off of a novel. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I really liked it. It was like a modern sci-fi type version. Um, when people commit crimes, their skin is dyed a certain color to correspond with the crime they've committed. So the main character in When She Woke wakes up and she's dyed red, which is the color for murder. Oh. And so then she has to live her life, um, dyed red. Yikes. So, that sounds yeah. cool. It was a really good book. I really enjoyed it. So the last two actions, you can choose whichever one you want. Right. Or you can do both if yeah. you want. Um, but action five, part one, yes. is pay the check. Which is... <laughs> I'll have to read it off of yours. <laughs> which is what book or series seems to fit the bill of a nearly perfect or well-rounded series? Or book. Um, again, don't read a lot of series, so I struggle right. a bit. It's a little tough. So I'm going to pick, you know, a pretty common one. Yeah. And just say Lord of the Rings. You can't go wrong with Tolkien. I mean, it's great. You can't. It's a great yeah. series. It is an excellent series. There's a little bit of everything in there. True. Yeah. And then Megan's going to answer action 5.2. Yes. Which is split the bill. <clears throat> right. Which is pick a canon couple from any book or series that you feel has a proper respect for one another. So for this one, I picked Ashby and Pei from um, The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet because they have a really complicated relationship because they are two different species, basically. Yeah. And he is the, the captain of the uh, wormhole tunneling <laughs> ship. I can't. I couldn't hold it together. <laughs> I was trying real hard. My cat just fell out of her cat tree. Because <laughs> she's all fucked up on cat. <laughs> She's in heat, so she's being insane, which she's getting spayed tomorrow, thank God. But she's oh. in heat, plus she's <laughs> plus she's high on catnip. <laughs> she's oh, not being God. a proper lady at all. She's not. Oh, hell. Not one bit. <laughs> he is the captain of the wormhole tunneling ship, and she's like a like a badass, like... Isn't she like a military leader? Yeah, like a military operative or whatever, so yeah. she's always like getting into some crazy situations, and so I feel like they had to kind of tread lightly with their relationship because mm -hmm. they were trying to keep it a secret, but they kept a proper respect for each other in doing so, and also um, for, in each of their line of work, they were both respectful of the distance that had to be between them. Right. So... True. So that was the gentlemen's and ladies tag. tag. Yes, so we had a lot of fun doing that. Thank you to Ben Sanders for tagging us in it. Yeah, and we enjoyed it. We are also going to tag Camille at the Chameleon. Yes, to do this tag. She's a very lovely lady. She's a very lovely lady. <laughs> okay, well, that's it for us. That was our gentlemen and ladies tag. So thank you for watching. If you enjoy our channel, please like and subscribe. And you can find us other places on the internet. Truth. Down below. Yeah, we'll put some links there for you. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching. Yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.